What is it we can't live without? It's the air, teacher. You are right, Anita. The air we breathe is the most important thing every human needs. The air we breathe. Breathing is essential for human beings. We cannot live without breathing. Animals and plants cannot live without air. When a glass tumbler is inverted over a burning candle, the candle is put out. When a burning candle is kept in the air, it continues to burn because air is available to it. Similarly, place some firewood in a fireplace and light it. As it burns, heat, smoke and a red flame are produced. Water kept over the fireplace boils due to heat. We cook food and boil milk and water with the heat produced from the burning of firewood or gas in the air. Cars and scooters run with the heat generated when petrol and diesel are burnt and pressure of the air produced from the heat. We cook food with heat like kerosene, petrol, diesel and cooking gas are fuels. When fuels burn, they react with oxygen of the air and produce carbon dioxide along with heat nor light nor smoke. We need energy to walk, talk, write and play or to do any kind of work. Energy required for work is produced from the food we eat. Energy is produced when the food undergoes chemical reactions in the body. The blood gets purified reacting with the oxygen in the air we breathe in and the carbon dioxide goes out along with the air we breathe out. Important Points Air is necessary for burning of things. Energy is produced when fuel burns. We need energy to do work. Energy is produced from the food we eat. It is used for doing work. When energy is produced from food, carbon dioxide is also formed. The process of breathing in air producing energy with it from food and releasing carbon dioxide gas is called respiration. If we do not respire, we cannot work or live. Respiration takes place through the lungs. Exchange of gases takes place in the lungs. Blood is purified. Respiration is very much like burning. Teacher, what is Inhale and exhale. Good question. Let me explain it in this lesson. Differences between inhales air and exhales air. Energy is produced during respiration. When walls are whitewashed, limestones are put in water. Lime water is formed. Lime water is colorless. When you send soda gas into it, the lime water turns milky. Soda gas is carbon dioxide only. So, soda gas turns lime water milky. During respiration, the oxygen in the inhaled air is utilized. Carbon dioxide is formed. The air which has more carbon dioxide and less oxygen is exhaled from the lungs to the outside through the nose. When oxygen reacts with food, carbon dioxide and moisture are produced. Part of the energy produced enters air as heat. That is why the exhaled air is moist and warm. More energy is required for you to run to do exercises and to work in the field. For producing more energy, 
you have to respire more number of times per minute important points exhaled air is warmer than inhaled air there is more oxygen in inhaled air there is more moisture and more carbon dioxide in exhaled air we respire about 18 times a minute we respire more number of times to do more work air exerts pressure we have learned how essential air is for us to live we cannot see the air but it does many wonders it brings rain in the rainy seasons it brings heat in summer and cold in winter it blows off the roofs of houses during storms it makes pumps work at all times air surrounds the earth to a height of several hundreds of kilometers it is called atmosphere every book needs some space every boy or girl needs some space everything occupies some space similarly air also needs space air occupies space just as we have weight just as a stone and a glass of water have weight air also has weight the air which surrounds the earth to a height of several hundreds of kilometers presses down upon us with all its weight many wonders occur on account of this pressure of atmosphere one liter of air weighs 1.29 grams air weighing 1 kg is present on 1 square centimeter surface of the earth air exerts pressure air exerts pressure not only downwards but also sidewards and upwards these pressures from all sides oppose one another and get equalized air blows strongly from that side on which the pressure is highest to the side where the pressure is low air which blows with the high pressure is called the wind strong winds blow off roofs of houses and uproot big trees this indicates that air has sidewards pressure important points air occupies space air has weight air exerts pressure air exerts pressure not only downwards but also sidewards and upwards teacher how can we apply air pressure air pressure i will help you know about it through this lesson applications of air pressure air exerts pressure on all sides let us know about the effects of this pressure where air becomes rare or thin and less dense the pressure of air at that place becomes less then air from a place of higher pressure in the surroundings blow into the place of lower pressure if it cannot go there it pushes some other object to that place let us find out the effects of increase and decrease in air pressure ventilators small windows called ventilators are fixed above the windows and doors in pakka houses when air in a place gets heated it occupies more space it becomes lighter its pressure decreases cool air at a higher pressure blows into its place from another place the air we exhale is warmer than the air around us which we inhale when we are in a room the warm air 
which we exhale goes upwards and out through the ventilators cooler air from the outside blows into the room through the windows and doors below whirlwinds we might have seen whirlwinds going round and round in summer wind rotates in the shape of a funnel it is of the height of a two story building and carries with it dry leaves papers and dust at great speed it moves from place to place turning round and round when the air at one place is intensely heated by the sun it expands and becomes lighter its pressure decreases the cooler wind around it having greater pressure pushes the lighter air upwards and blows into the vacant space with great speed from all sides in the form of whirlwind cyclone similar to the whirlwind on land low pressure areas occur on the seas due to the intense heat of the sun the low pressure spot on the sea is called a depression the wind around it along with clouds rushes to the low pressure spot and revolves at a great speed the clouds get cooled and rain on the seas the depression turns round and round crosses the coast and rains on land also the wind blows very fast going up to 80 km per hour and even more this is called a cyclone and cyclonic storm just before the coming of the cyclone the air pressure at the place decreases suddenly from this we can forecast the approach of a cyclone important points air blows from a place of higher pressure to that of lower pressure instruments like soda straw ink filler injection syringe and bamboo syringe works on the differences in air pressure air pressure decreases when air gets heated and becomes lighter hot air being lighter goes upwards cool air with higher pressure blows into the place of the hot air of lower pressure ventilators are fixed to facilitate the exit of air heated in a room whirlwinds and cyclones are formed on account of differences in air pressure when a glass tumbler is inverted over a burning candle the candle is put out when a burning candle is kept in the air it continues to burn because air is available to it take two rubber balloons blow air into one of them and tie its mouth with a piece of string now we have got some air when we press this balloon we are pressing the air inside it look at the other balloon do both the balloons occupy the same amount of space which one occupies more space why in a syringe there is an outer tube of the glass or plastic and a inner tube fits into it the outer tube has a tapering end with a hole the inner tube is closed at both ends it is called the piston the piston has a handle at the back for working it to and fro put the tip of the tube in water and push the piston down what happen keep the end of the outer tube in water and slowly pull the piston upwards what happen now after sufficient amount of water has gotten take syringe out and push the piston downward again water comes out through the hole at the tip of the outer tube 